Okay. Uh, welcome, guys. So this is just my uh my own uh, uh record or my own notes for the category theory. Uh, because I think category theory uh do not solve hard problems, right? In algebraic topology or algebraic algebra, but uh, but the category theories are very important and interesting. So there are various ideas in a category theory and a various uh, terminology. So I want to build my own uh, video to the capture or at least uh, make a record. Okay, yeah, so subscribe to my channel. So let's, so today I want to just only want to talk about basic of the definition of the category and talk some examples. Okay, so the first, uh, let's talk about definition. So definition is a category C, right? It's a, just a, okay, so sometimes I use C. It's a class, it's a class of object. So uh, there is a, a mathematical issue that the set theory issue that uh, sometimes the object do not form a set, right? But it's fine. And then there is a morphism, a morphism of a category. So I usually call morphism. Okay, so such that uh, if you take, let's say if you take uh, any, uh, let's see. So if you take any A and B, so basically you take A and B belongs to, I, I should not say belong, right? Because the object is not class. So I should say if you take A and B, uh, basically object in C, then uh, there is a set called home uh, AB. Home AB is a set. So basically uh, I can write this arrow, right? Like, like this, like arrow. So basically for each two objects, uh, you can uh, associate with set. So such that uh, uh, giving, let's say, if you have morphism from A to B and the morphism B to C, then uh, you will have a morphism G circle F, which is not uh, just a function, right? But there's a unique morphism from A to C. So basically, Huang is saying that if you have a morphism from A to B, and then you have a morphism B to C, you will have a morphism A to C. Okay, so this is the first uh, condition. And the second condition is that, uh, so I should say first condition, second condition. Second condition is that uh, given any object A, then there is an identity morphism. So basically you can, there's always the identity morphism in the hum A, A, A such that, uh, such that uh, for any A to B, uh, the identity composition with A is the same as F and the uh, same as uh, identity B composition with F. So basically if I just say that uh, for each uh, A, you always have the morphism. 1a, right, such that uh, it composites with any other function f will give you uh, uh, give you identity. So uh, so I, I, I use function as a language, right, but uh, this can be very abstract. Okay, so final, uh, final condition is that uh, the composition is associative. So basically, if you have f uh, from a to b, and the G from B to C, and the H from C to D, and you must have F circle G circle H equals to F uh, circle G circle H. Uh, sorry, F circle G circle H, yeah. So this is the definition of category. Okay, uh, somehow it's a little bit uh, tricky, yeah. So that's another definition. So I'll call it 2.2. So this is called a small and the large. So this is a, just a terminology. So if uh, we say the category, we say C is small. If object C and the morphism C, so morphism C should view as a, the, the total, uh, the, the collection of the all morphism to our, uh, our both set. Okay. And uh, if we say C is large, Means that uh, uh, means that uh, it's not small. <laughs> okay, now there's a terminology called the local small. Local small means that uh, means that uh, the object C may not be uh, may not be set, right? But uh, for each two, 
as a home uh, A to B is a set. So this is the usual case. So object may not be a set, right? But uh, each two element must be a set. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the another definition called isomorphism. So this is also uh, a very important idea. If you learn about uh, uh, like algebraic topology or learn the fundamental group, okay, so such is basically connected to this isomorphism idea. So if you have A and B F, it's called isomorphism. Uh, means what? Means what? Uh, means that uh, you can find another B, uh, another G, another G from B to A, such that the uh, G composites with F. So G composites with F, well, it's a function I on F, right? It should be identity on A and uh, F on, at G should be identity on B. Okay. This is called isomorphic, isomorphism. Okay, so I say I uh, usually the terminal and the symbol will be a isomorphic to B. Yeah, uh, this and the two equal. Okay. So let's talk about example. So one example uh, is a set. Right, set so basically is uh, the objects basically the set for all sets and the morphism are basically the function of two sets. So any function for any two sets. Okay, so simple easy to check is a category. The second example is that the uh, finite uh, finite set. So basically you set and it's finite. So objects are finite set. And the morphism are basically function. Okay. And the groups. So I like groups. Some people use a GRPs. So object is basically all the group. Group. So everybody knows about group theory, right? And the morphism is basically the standard the group homomorphism. Okay, so these are very important, like the, or basically you can restrict it into abelian group. If all the morphism restricted to abelian and the morphism into uh, abelian homomorphism. So basically these are very famous, uh, connected to algebraic topology, basically all the cohomology, homology. Uh, so the whole knowledge are uh, basically uh, this type of idea. Okay, and also rings. So rings are very famous in the, so basically object and uh, be a ring uh, with the identity and the morphism just a uh, ring homomorphism. Okay, and the standard is a vector. So basically the object is a vector space. And the morphism are just a linear transformation. So you can go to Wikipedia and see more other examples. But I think uh, this, these are all very common. Okay, also uh, if you learn about algebraic geometry, then you can call the R module. So you fix a ring and then you can collect object are basically module. And the morphism are just the module homomorphism. Okay, many, many others. Okay, the final example I should say is topological space. So objects are topological space. And the morphism are a continuous map. Okay. Okay, uh, I think everybody knows about, I think that's enough. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, so that's using some definition and finish this section. So definition, the opposite category. So this is also a up. It should be p opposite category. Okay, so this is a object, the same as object. Uh, let's see. So let me just uh, clean the. Okay, so what is the opposite category? So opposite category means that uh, you can create a category called COP, such that object of COP is the same as original C, right? But uh, the morphism, so each morphism, if you have a morphism from A to B to F, right, you just change in the opposite category, you just reverse the error. So become B to A to F. So that's it. So basically you uh, simply reverse all the, so reverse all the, all the errors. Okay, and then there is a thing called a discrete category.
discrete category should be uh, very simple. So basically, if you have a class of object X, then your dis discrete category X is just uh, using X for class of object and only adding a required identity morphism for each object in X. So basically, discrete uh, category means that uh, you have any object for any object. For any object, you just add X, so add identity, and the reverse and the and the delete all the on all the arrow be all, all the arrow between these uh, any two objects. So delete all the arrows and the add the identity. So basically, it's just one word only add identity. Okay. Okay, and uh, there is a thing called a subcategory. So subcategory means that uh, you just uh, create a subset of the original category C, if, uh, if or it's basically a sub object of C, and then you take the for each A and B, right? You take the subset of the morphism. So if uh, if you take both subject uh, object sub oh, sorry, sub subset of the original of sub object of original C and the sub set of original morphism. And then for forms a category, this is called a sub sub category. Yeah, so basically it's just a, like the subset or the subgroup, okay, or sub ring, basically that kind of idea. Okay, and the next time uh, we can, the next time we will talk about the morphisms and the uh, various results, uh, various definition. So category is also, it's always interesting because uh, we always talk about definition. There's a lot of things. In, and, but uh, if you learn about topology and algebraic geometry, then you will commonly be used. So, so, so it should be a good video. Okay, it should be a good, uh, uh, good fundamentals. Okay, see you guys uh, next videos.